We've got two different ones that we're going to start out with. We've got one that's got a an artichoke heart. Artichoke and, and spinach. spinach. And why don't we put that on yeah, the grill right now, yeah. get that going. I'll show you how to make that. And the other one, so that uses actually Wisconsin Monterey Jack cheese, which is kind of tart and, and buttery and it provides great flavor. Our other one uses Wisconsin sharp cheddar cheese, and mm. that's our pimento uh, sandwich. Grilled cheese sandwich. All right, so let's so, make, start with the we'll spinach. Start with the spinach. Okay. Yes. So, so we'll, I have some oil okay. that I've infused with a little bit of garlic already. Okay, this is olive oil and mm -hmm. garlic. All right. And then I can, we're going to put the entire bag of six ounces of uh, baby leaf spinach and okay. get that going there. And so if you like, you want to wilt it. That's what you want to do. If you like spinach and artichoke dip, um, you're going to look. This is kind of a twist on that. Yeah, it really is delicious. Which actually. I happen to love <laughs> that. I can't stop eating it. So. And you can put a little salt and pepper in there. You bet. And uh, it's always fun. Spinach actually goes really well with nutmeg, so I have a little grated nutmeg that you can put in there as well. Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll let the spinach hang out yep. and do its thing. Right. Okay. okay. And while that's doing that, because we need that finished okay. uh, before we continue, I'll uh, start on the pimento grilled cheese. Okay. And what we're using is two cups of Wisconsin uh, sharp cheddar cheese okay. that's grated and put that into a bowl. This is really simple. We're going to take uh, some roasted red peppers, the kind that come in the jar, okay. drain them and chop them up. So about a half a cup. Okay. All right? And then, this really makes it creamy, is some mayonnaise, about two thirds of a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. And that's your filling. That's all it is. And this one we recommend putting on um, just the, actually this French French or Italian bread, okay. okay? And for the uh, artichoke one, we're going to put it on the white bread. You could use any kind of bread you want, but that's what the recipe calls for. And so. I know um, pimento sandwiches are huge down in the south, uh -huh. um, and you know, they're just a classic down there uh, doing a spread like this. Now, normally, you don't, I don't think they heat them up. I think it's more of a cold pimento sandwich. Right. So this but is going to be grilled and gets nice melty. and gooey. Ooh, so, yeah. all right. Now, what you want to first do before you grill any kind of grilled cheese is you want to butter uh, both sides. It's better if you butter the bread in general versus um, buttering it in the pan. Okay. Yeah, in the pan there, because then it will be more even. Okay. All right. So I'm going to butter both sides of this French bread here. Okay, and our Turn spinach is looking perfect. Yeah, that looks about right. If, a little bit of nutmeg see. I'll put in there. A little nutmeg, and then you're going to put in actually half a cup of artichoke hearts that have been drained from okay. the jar, and about three tablespoons of sour cream. Oh, OK. To provide some creaminess. OK. So those go in there as well, OK? So that, that's our filling for our Monterey Jack. OK. I'm just going to grab this. And then, uh, so what I'm going to do now for our pimento with the sharp cheddar cheese is just place that. A nice big mound big of gob it. of it, yep, right in the center there of one of our Italian bread or French bread slices. And then place the bread on top. It's really That's easy. easy enough. Isn't that easy? Yeah. It's like a you know, pretty standard uh, grilled cheese, but it has a lot of extra flavor in mm. there, okay? And then you just do it just normal, like you do a grilled cheese. You want to flip it when it's ready. Let's check and you see how we here. Too much. And the tip is to there. also maybe take a lid. I have a lid over there. That helps the cheese to... Ooh, uh, this one's looking perfect. Ooh, look Ooh, at that. Ooh, yeah. So the cheese can melt a little faster if you put a lid on it. Okay. Well. All right, now for this uh, Monterey Jack with the, the spinach and artichokes again, butter your bread. We're using some white bread here on each side. Okay. Okay. Then flip over one side. Okay. All right. Then we're going to take some of the Wisconsin Monterey Jack cheese which pairs really well with the spinach, just about an eighth of a cup. And I notice we're using shredded cheese rather mm -hmm. than sliced cheese. Yes, that's, that's actually a great tip, Amy. Um, shredded cheese melts a lot quicker okay. than uh, the sliced. I mean, sliced, if you do it really thin, will work. But if you really want to make sure you get some great melt, that's what it's recommended. That's a great yeah. tip. So that's the spinach and the artichokes and little bit of all that neck, sauce. A little bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more of the Wisconsin Monterey jack cheese on top of that mm. and then we have our buttered side up on this one put that on there and Let's that goes on there room over here we'll get this guy on and then a griddle boy a griddle or a non-stick pan right non-stick really is key when it comes to kind doing of low, a great medium grilled cheese heat too. you don't yeah. want the heat too high yep, very true tip, don't want so. it to burn so let's take a look and see how we're doing here this is our pimento mm -hmm. Ooh. This one's been on a little bit longer. I can just see it starting to melt. And look at that. And that mayonnaise in there actually makes it really nice oh, and creamy. Oh, <laughs> I bet. Let me get a cutting board and we'll get ready to cut these and serve them up. These look fantastic. All right. 
And I think that there's, you know, nothing wrong with a really great sandwich for mm -hmm. dinner. You oh, know, no. soup or sandwich. Like a salad yeah. or yeah. soup, depending yeah. upon exactly. the time Exactly. So here's number one, the right. artichoke heart. Mm -hmm. Should we cut it on the yeah, angle? Sure. It has some pretty color in it, too, mm. so it looks great. Ooey and gooey and... <laughs> If you like, you know, like I say, a really good, you know, artichoke and spinach dip, there you go. And then let's take a look at our pimento one. This is, again, brittle's hot, but, oh, that looks fantastic, Karen. Nice and, nice and toasted. <laughs> toasted yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely there we yummy. Go. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. So tell me about uh, the dessert. Uh, grilled cheeses that are coming up. Yeah, this These is going to be lots fun. of fun. One of them actually uses Wisconsin Oops, Fontina that one got a little cheese. Overdone. Yep. And the Fontina cheese is paired with pineapple and some pecans and a little honey. So it's in and on banana bread. Ooh. Doesn't that, so it could be actually almost a dessert too. Yeah. And the uh, uh, second one we'll be preparing is an uh, apple French toast. Oh. So we're actually dipping the grilled cheese sandwich in an egg batter and it has a Gruyere cheese in there that will melt with the apples. Oh, I can hardly yeah. wait. So <laughs> stick around for that. All the recipes that we did today you can find on our website. You can also get them again on the uh, Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. EatWisconsinCheese.com and look for the Great Pear Share magazine. All right, sounds good. We'll be back. Stay with us.